when I go somewhere I used to live, it isn't, oh, I just used to live there. It's just this reservoir of experiences, memories, associations. Good morning, welcome to another Wareham Memory Lane Ramble. Lockdown is eased, we're able to travel. A mere gut, fantastic. And uh, able to get out a little bit further. My time in Dorset through the last two lockdowns draws close to an end. So I want to get out and just enjoy it a little bit more than the amazing green rolling fields and seaside around Weymouth. So I'm coming back down Carey Way near Wareham and uh, trip up memory lane or down. Don't know which is the correct direction. And up to Wolves Barrow Hill Fort. So just into Carey, lived here I think sort of 77 to 79 and over on Northmore Park a few times I think the sort of uh, maybe 9, 10 to about 12 years of age. So lots of memories laid down here. Isn't it amazing how much smaller places seem when you're a grown up? I used to seem really long roads and I realised that one of the roads I used to think was a really long way was just like about 700 metres if not even that. Oh is that the sunrise coming up behind me? It is. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I wasn't planning that. Yeah I'll be dropping in memory lane bits. Don't know about you but uh, when I go somewhere I used to live it isn't oh I just used to live there. It's just this reservoir of experiences, memories, associations that to kind of want to come pouring out so I will give a distilled selection of uh, memory pouring out. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning I've come and land as well because tourists are just coming in to arrive by the shed load for Weymouth which is good good for the economy I'm not knocking it but so it means that I'm going to vary my route I'm going to vary where I go and what I get up to so let's have a memory lane trip and I'm going to have a walk in that direction up Stony Lane. Um, this is a real expedition into the, my childhood memory and associations along here. Used to have this memory of a werewolf running across the fields at unnatural speed pressing its face against some bedroom window and then following a seance which a babysitter did with some blooming babysitting I used to have the image of a kind of like uh, Freddy Krueger molt molten pink face pressed against the living room window a kind of narrow one um, anyway these things sit in my mind seem to come from this end and so I uh, want to just explore what's down here I remember this used to be called Stony Lane it looks more like it's tarmac now um, tarmac lane doesn't have the quite same ring does it um, past Seven Barrows Gravel Pit, and that was a place we must never go to, um, but nevertheless we did. So that would be the field, but the werewolf would come belting down like at lightning speed, literally, and run across here, across the fields, and then face right up against the window looking in at me. Really, really break me senseless it's probably why i was really terrified of werewolf films for a good number of years but <coughs> this is amazing it's a beautiful pastoral morning like when i have beethoven's pastoral playing where I have my first memory of wood ants coming up here after school one day with some friends on Wessex Oval and uh, a friend goes up into one of the wood sides here and squats down for a few moments 
as part of the play. And then he stands up going, ah, ah, and he's got wood ants on him. And they're amazing creatures. You can see how much woodiness there is to the sort of uh, the, the very fabric of the, the forest floor here. Lots of pine cone and uh, pine needle detritus. And uh, well, magical place. But anyway, yes. First memory of uh, wood ants here. The smell of pine is getting really, really strong now in the pine forest. It does take you back indeed. Now, if you're British of a certain age, like about my own, you may remember some public service information films that you would be shown at school to keep you safe. That I am the spirit of dark and lonely water. And there's another one I particularly remember, which is relevant from being around here, of the gang of kids that are playing around a farmyard and one gets poisoned, one falls into slurry. <laughs> Remembered it because they'd come up playing up here, we've got a sand pits not far away, bodies of water, farms, slurry pits around here. And it's really good to be back. Hate getting up early, like, but there is a payoff, isn't it? You get really memorable walks. There's another Wareham Forest smell. They're so evocative. Besides the pine. And it's the smell of mire, the rotting, decomposing vegetation. And it really, really permeates the area at times. Uh, come on to some more miry bits later on. <laughs> 